Howdy everyone, I'm Braden with EG4 Electronics and today I have a box that contains the FlexBoss 21. This is a hybrid inverter that can be used standalone or pairs nicely with EG4's new MID, the Grid Boss. To learn more about the Grid Boss, you can click on the video that's linked in the description, but let's go ahead and open up our FlexBoss 21 box and see what we have inside. Alrighty, we got our tape cut. Let's go ahead and open this up. On top here, we have our mounting template that comes with all of our inverter offerings that allows you to see where you want your system on the wall and size for accordingly. Looks like on top here, we also have our Wi-Fi dongle that you can use to hook up your system to the EG4 monitoring site for remote monitoring capabilities, as well as being able to change your settings remotely. Got our big old piece of packing protection. Move that out the way. And here we have the Flex Boss 21. Now let's go ahead and pull out some of our side accessories, our mounting hardware that also comes with a couple of spare bolts and screws and some RJ45 connectors if you need to make your own pinned out cables. We also have a box here, which I believe is the CTs, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull the Flex Boss 21 out first since it's a pretty big box there down there so let's go ahead and make sure there's nothing else that we need doesn't look like that's the case we're gonna go ahead and pull this out so i popped the flex boss 21 out just a little bit so we could get our box of cts and yep that's exactly what those are we have cts in here for if we want to utilize this, of course, as a 200 amp uh, service hybrid inverter, then we will need to have the CTs in order to read the input and output of the grid. But because this inverter is made for two people to put on the wall, it is very heavy. Uh, I'm going to just pop the box here. And show y'all a bit of what's underneath from our top view. Now we start off with this plate that goes over all of our open systems. So once you install it, you have access to your important breaker, which is your battery on and off to power your system. But you can protect yourself from all of the non-breakered things in here. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the screw. Alrighty, we also need to take off these screws that hold it to the breaker here. And once we take these three off, we can pull our nice protective cover, set that over to the side and take a look at what we got going on underneath the hood. We have of course our battery connections up to 250 amp push and pull from the batteries. So we have two inputs here so you can put some pretty sizable cable without needing to go, you know, with cable that's really, really hard to bend and very impractical. We also have all the knockouts that you may need down here for all the various connections, which of course line up nicely with the conduit boxes for our wall mount batteries. That perfect pairing allows it to fit seamlessly into the EG4 
wall mount system. We also have our grid and load breakers here. Of course, when you install this on the grid boss, the grid boss will have your breakers and it will of course have your 200 amp grid input. So you no longer need to have that 200 amp relay and bypass and you can just run straight from lugs of your AC bus on your inverter to the grid boss. We can see as well that we no longer have a generator port here uh, as we do in the 12k PV and 18k PV and that's because that is also being handled by the grid boss. So in order to save the most money for the customer possible during the installation, we only put the components where they're needed to go and that will allow you to save on the resource of all the breakers, wiring, and of course, the money of all the installation overall. We do still have, of course, our RSD transmitter inside of our MPPTs here so that when you have your array installed up to 21 kilowatts of power that can be utilized, um, that will be able to RSD from the RSD of the grid boss or the flex boss, whichever you activate from. And we can see here that our MPPT, actually MPPT2, has an additional connection to enable our systems to get up to that 21 kilowatts from the 18 kPV. Our 18 kPV, of course, only having one MPPT with two inputs. These have two, two, and then one with a amperage rating of, I believe, 26, 26, and 15. So you can get some high amperage panels in here and be able to make the most out of that solar DC bus. We do, of course, have all of the additional things that you would need for paralleling, for RSD, running all of that in there, a battery breaker so you can uh, disable that on an inverter basis, and our grounding, everything that you would need for a system. Now, I mentioned the 18K PV a lot when talking about the FlexBoss 21, as we took a lot of those same successes and drivers and utilized it to create something that fits that grid boss architecture super well, but also has a couple of additional super power drivers, such as the 16 kilowatt AC continuous output when using solar and battery, as well as up to 21 kilowatts of solar input utilization, with of course a recommended maximum of 24 kilowatts nameplate rating, so you can get the most even in those cloudy or off peak hours. The FlexBoss 21 is a super powerful hybrid inverter that is perfect for a whole home backup or being able to make the most out of your grid. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out the FlexBoss 21 at eg4electronics.com and we'll see you guys in the next one.